and welcome to our third and last tutorial for the Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro app for iPad developed by MDEX Music. In this video, I'll show you how to work with the app in play mode and recording mode, and we'll also take a peek at the demo audio mode. At the moment, I'm in browse mode. We can switch to play mode by tapping here. The current harmonic progression is already loaded and it's ready to play. You can access all progressions included in the app by tapping this music folder. Files are organized by map level and labeled with their corresponding workbook number. Let's select this one, workbook one. One, two minor seven, five, one. It's already loaded. You can now press the play button to listen to the progression while viewing it on the map. Or, you can change the tempo with this metronome slider. Right now, it's at 120, but let's change that to 160. And play. The progression is also shown in standard chord notation on this staff panel, here. You may also tap on any chord in the staff and listen and view the selected chord on the map. And of course, you can also transpose the entire progression to any key by using the keyboard. Let's modulate to B flat. All chords on the map and staff are instantly updated. Or see it functionally by tapping the italicized F key. Tap on this path switch to show or hide the entire harmonic progression on the map. Chords in the progression are now encircled and joined by directional moving arrows. The path is also reinforced by gradually changing the shades of blue from dark blue at the beginning of the progression to light blue at the end. Also, the main and the alternative cadences are dimmed when the progression path is visible. Let's load another progression. I'll try this Neapolitan 6 in major from workbook 3. As you can see, the current map level has automatically changed to level 3 in order to fit the progression's complexity. Let's listen to it. All these progressions are included in the app and are read only. If you want to write or try your own progressions, you'll need to change to recording mode. Here. Since this is the first time I'm running the app, there are no user songs. A blank song has been loaded. You can add chords to the progression by double tapping on any chord. The insertion point is indicated by this blinking red line here. You can create your progression in any key. Let's choose C. I'll use C as my first chord, so I double tap on C. I want to have one chord per measure, so I'll tap once at the beginning of the second measure in the staff, here. I'm not sure which chord to use next, so I think I'll try a few by just tapping once. I like this E flat. I double tap and E flat is inserted in the progression. Let's find the next chord. F minor sounds nice. Let's listen to the progression we have so far. like to change that F minor to an F major triad. So I tap on the F minor here on the staff to change the insert point and I double tap on the F major triad here. There. 
Let's listen. A D minor would sound nice here. If you make a mistake like I just did, you can delete the chord by double tapping on the chord. Here in the staff. Now it's gone. Let's insert it in the right place and listen. I want to try interpolating the 5-7 of the D minor chord here, but right now I have no access to that chord. So I'll try to change the maps level to secondary dominance. And there it is. Change the insert point and double tap on this A7. Now let's listen. Okay, I will add an ending. And listen to it. Okay, now I will rename the song to my song one. It's already saved. You can turn on the paths. Change it to another key. Or view it functionally to see how the progression works. Also, you can clear the song to start anew. Or delete it from storage. Or create a new one. Another safety feature is the ability to turn the recording button on or off so you don't make any unwanted changes by mistake. Finally, let's look at the audio mode. In this mode, you can load audio songs from the server and view the progression play while listening. Thanks for watching.